Hello and welcome to this video demonstration of the Future Sound Systems MX-1. That's this little 4HP module here, which is a four-channel audio mixer. Um, it's also designed as an expander to the uh, POCA to its left. Uh, we'll come on to that later. Uh, but first of all, I'm just going to show you uh, how it works just as a normal audio mixer. Just by mixing in a few different sources here on the modular. So we've got braids as channel one, sid guts as channel two, and ripples as channel three. Uh, so you get a nice kind of chordal thing. So you can see that it works uh, very well as a, as a simple mixer. Uh, I'm going to move our output into the phase inverted output now just for simple patching uh, and just show you the overdrive feature so you can take the output and then patch that straight back into an input here. We can actually use this as a drive control so I'm, I'm just going to bring down my source level there and then bring up the MX1 level. You can hear we get a nice bit of crunch and we'll take that all the way up. It really gets into kind of metal territory, it's quite nice. And we can take it back. But what is actually quite nice uh, to be able to do with that is uh, drive different filters. Uh, so if you're relatively new to modular or maybe even analog synthesis, um, Analog filters tend to exhibit quite different behavior uh, when you uh, kind of drive them at different levels. So I've got this Frequency Central System X filter here. Um, we're keeping our drive down on the MX-1 at the moment. And the audio level's at full here. You can kind of hear we get a fairly expected squeal from the uh, resonance when it's at full. Now if I bring up the drive on the MX-1, you'll hear what happens with the filter. So I drive it a bit more. We get quite a different characteristic. If I bring the resonance up now, you'll hear that we don't get that squeal anymore, but we get a kind of nice biting instead. Let me bring it just down to Sid Guts. get some very interesting features. I'll bring the drive down again. We can bring that squeal back in. Until it really starts taking over. I'll just drop the level of Sid Guts slightly. And there you go. So that's how you can use the MX-1 as a gain stage uh, to get some different characteristics out of your filters as well. Next I'll show you what happens when you use the MX-1 as an expander to the POCA. So what I've done here is I've just taken our uh, sources from the inputs of the MX-1 and shifted them over to the inputs of the POCA. And on the CV inputs of the POCA I've got the frequency central pocket calculator, uh, frequency divider, just uh, feeding some gate signals into the CV straight off. Now what happens when you use the MX-1 as an expander is that the uh, outputs of the POCA are normaled to the inputs of the MX-1. So you can use it either as a four-channel uh, Vactrol based mixer or uh, you can start overriding the actual inputs themselves um, if you'd rather use certain channels for different things. You, you might want to do that. So I can start bringing these in and that's braids on the uh, second division. And then we've got Sid Guts there. And then Ripples on the third channel again. So we've still got our fourth channel patched into the output. Uh, we're actually listening to the phase inverted output again. And I, I can bring the drive up here and start to get a nice bit of crunch again. Let me bring down the output level there. There we go. So you can do some quite interesting patterns just with this little patch.
So that's just a short demonstration of what you can do as the MX-1 as an independent mixer, a gain stage, and an expander to the uh, Future Sound Systems VAT-1 POCA. Uh, all of the modules that you see here from Future Sound Systems are available from our website, www.futuresoundsystems.co.uk, uh, and our very good dealers that are also listed on that website. Thank you for watching this short video demonstration of the MX-1 4-channel mixer module. <laughs>